So this particular movement today is what I call the McKinsey uh, hip to wall. Um, you may have found yourself or have a friend who's found himself into a position where they're literally stuck like this. And what they'll look like when they come into our office is they'll literally be stuck like this. And they literally cannot straighten up. And so this particular motion is going to show you the correct steps to at least get yourself straightened. This particular movement is not meant to necessarily help you get rid, out of, rid of pain, but in order to get out of pain, you, got, you have to become axially straight before we can uh, begin to uh, get you out of that painful process uh, and this inflammation that's in there, all right? So what Miss Caitlin is, is she's coming in crooked like this, and what we do is we want her to get her straightened up. So her, lit, her hip is to the left and out, and so she is gonna put this side to the wall to straighten up. All right, so Ms. Caitlin, if you would, one of the most important things that we do in this particular position is we wanna make sure that our shoulder is to the wall, all right? One of the mistakes that people make is they end up dropping the elbow down into this position. You want to create this space to, and uh, for your hips to move. So let's make sure we get the, hip, the shoulder back on the wall, right there, and then what you're gonna do is actually push the hip to the wall, and then come back out to neutral, and then go down. And in this process, in my experience, is when I have patients do this particular motion, it is extremely painful. This is a little bit of a no pain, no gain. You have to move into this position. Again, you have to get yourself straightened up. So I've had patients who sweat pretty badly with this because the pain response is, is at that level. And so as you're doing it, you'll get down to the wall and then get to the wall and it may take you a couple minutes to get there. Now, once we get here to the wall, I want you to get to the wall and stay there. And it may take you a couple, five or six deep breaths, and then your back will finally relax, all right? And then you'll come back out or move off the wall. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna do about a set of 10. And once you find that we get through a set of 10 and you're down there and you can relax on the wall, stay there. I've had people who stay there for literally like 20, 30 minutes at a time. When we come off the wall, you're gonna go hip to the wall. Okay, and then you're gonna go foot to the wall like this, and then you're gonna step off, okay? And then as you go and you walk, your body's probably gonna move back into this position again, all right? And as the day goes on and the day progresses, you want to do a set of 10 of these literally as many times as it takes until you become straight again. One of the other things that I'd also advise is that you put ice on the low back and uh, possibly take some anti-inflammatories because this is a particular um, symptom that is more than likely a disc issue. This is a way to get to the right path. This is not a cure. And if you have increased leg pain or ridiculous type of symptoms or sciatica, please again, contact your healthcare professional.